Scanlet News Special, 25th of June, 3307. It's not all hard news here at Galnet News Digest. Sometimes we take time out from our busy schedule to watch gas giants collide. Join us as we observe the majesty of nature in all its glory. On the 23rd of June 3307, KOI 413 1 and 2, which very nearly share the same orbit, simultaneously reached a point where their slightly inclined orbits overlap. The prediction was that the two gas giants would virtually disappear inside one another with a 90% overlap. Canon Research Supremo, Commander LCU No Fool Like One, flew out to investigate, and a Galnet News Digest reporter was kindly invited by him to witness this astonishing event. The following footage, filmed over two hours, is here sped up 25 times and shows the entire encounter in a more convenient time frame. We use a single shot for the entire encounter. Commander No Fool Like One's Beluga turned out to be a Schrodinger's Beluga and for a while it couldn't decide which planet was closest, leading to a fascinating, if slightly disturbing, effect where it flip-flopped between the planets in a manner similar to electrons flipping between atoms or jumping between valences. The two planets are nicknamed Rhubarb and Custard because of their respective colours. Rhubarb is often stewed in sugar and then a little water to make an almost inedible bitter mush that is made tolerably palatable by being plated up with non-Newtonian fluid made of corn flour, milk, eggs and more sugar, which virtually masks the excessive malic and oxalic acid of the chopped and rendered rhubarb stalks. In 10th century English schools in the Sol system, this strange concoction was mistakenly believed to build character. The fall of the British Empire may well be attributable to too much rhubarb and custard. It is not clear which plant here is rhubarb and which is custard. It really depends on how much the rhubarb has been boiled and whether the custard is simple, caramel or so-called pink custard which has an unknown but extremely sweet recipe and is unusually even more unpalatable than the normal sort. The scientists among you will notice that it is the planet behind the beluga that moves relative to the camera. The stationary planet is the one that is at that moment closest. The planet on the left, probably rhubarb, is moving slightly forward and will shortly flip into the foreground as it emerges through the planet on the right which is probably custard. This now is the moment that rhubarb bursts out of custard, like an alien bursting out of Commander Thomas Kane's chest, only with less blood and drama. You'd expect that two gas giants passing through each other would lead to them getting mixed together into a rhubarb and custardy blob, wouldn't you? Well, astrophysics doesn't work like that. The atoms in these two gas giants are apparently sufficiently diffuse that they pass right through each other without any trouble at all, and they continue on their separate but similar orbits as though they had never met, in a manner similar to passengers on rapid transit systems in cities throughout the galaxy. So you need to take your azure milk. It's harvested from native mammals found in Liste. It's rehydrating and nourishing. And it's blue. It's azure milk. And you'll get it at George Lucas Station. So you need 700 millilitres of it. And you need 200 millilitres of a Thrutis cream. So you need to put them both into a large pan and gently bring them to just below boiling point. Meanwhile, you'll have needed to go to 47 Seti and Glushko Station for an Apurnus egg. They are absolutely huge, so you'll only need one, if that, in all honesty, you'll not need much. So you need to take the yolk of that and pop it in a large bowl with some corn flour made with the Diso Mar corn and some sugar, 100 grams, and uh, a teaspoon of the vanilla extract. And you pour the hot milk mixture onto this and you whisk it constantly. 
and then basically you just need to pour the mixture back into it and heat it gently stirring it with a wooden spoon until it thickens and it's at that point where you add your stewed rhubarb Let's watch the last few moments in silence, broken only by our closing theme music, which was written for us by Toko So. If you like astronomical anomalies, if you like astronom, if you like astronomical anomalies of this sort, astronomical anomalies, may we recommend the Ghost Giraffe Channel, which features far more natural history programming than Galnet News Digest can carry. The link to that and to Tokoso SoundCloud may well be in the description, if we remember. I really like custard.